will love you and stand by you when nobody else will. Now, I want people to show me favor, but I want God to show me favor. Because if God shows me favor, God's favor never runs out. I want the kind of favor that David received from the Lord. David said, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I stopped by to tell you today, I don't care whether you went to Harvard, Duke, or Yale. If you live long enough, you're going to need a favor from the Lord. If your money looks funny and your change looks strange, yeah. you need a favor. Amen. If you're battling depression today, you need a favor from the Lord. Amen. If you're sick today and you're tore up from the floor, <laughs> you need a favor from the Lord. Because the Bible says, by his strike, you're already here. Amen. I stopped by to tell you today, if your back is against the wall, yeah. if your marriage is on the rocks, yeah. if the door won't act right. The cat won't act right. The children won't act right. You need a favor from the Lord. Does anybody need a favor in here from the Lord? What is favor? What is favor? So y'all can catch up with me. T.D. Felder said favor is having what you need, when you need it, how you need it, through whom you need it, even though you don't deserve it, just because God decided to give it to you. Now, I don't know what anybody in here is thinking right now, but I come to tell you that favor woke you up this morning. Favor put food on your table and clothes on your back. Bring your hands back and forth. Favor is the reason why you haven't lost your mind. You haven't made it this far by yourself. Y'all not going to help me preach this. You have come... You have made it this far because you have favor on your side. And oh, I thank God for my mother and father in the ministry. Yes. I am where I am today because God showed them favor. Yes. And they showed me favor. Me favor. Yes. In our text, I have about 12 more minutes. I have to hurry up. Take In our text. Take your time. Take your time. Abraham, Abraham uh, received a visit from the Lord. The Lord shows up and he begins to speak. Abraham. Now check this out now. Brother Abraham is just uh, going about his normal yes. routine. Come on, That's why we need to be good because we never know when the Lord is going to show up. Can I talk to somebody in here? The Lord shows up and say, look here, Abraham. He says, now, I'm going to bless you, but before I bless you, you have to leave Atlanta. You have to get out of your mama house, your daddy's house, and go to a place that I will show you. Now, Abraham, Abraham did not have Google. <laughs> so he could text Amen. or send an email to figure out where he was going. Abraham stepped out on faith. Somebody said faith. So I stopped out to tell you today, if you want God to bless you, you're going to need crazy faith. Can somebody shout crazy faith? Now you do know that Christians are crazy by nature. Yes. All right. You know why y'all can shout? Because some of you said, well, he just insulted my intelligence. Well, according to dictionary.com, Pastor him. craziness is defined as a person who is foolish. Senseless or irrational. Right. Now, based on that definition, I believe all of us in here are crazy. Because for Abraham to leave his mother and father's house to go to a place that he didn't even know where he was going, Abraham must have been crazy. Do I have any crazy folks in here? You lost your job, you've been to hell and back. Folks talking about you, but you still believe in the God that's going to do a miracle. Do I have who is crazy enough to believe that God is good all the time? Jesus, Jesus. God blessed Abraham. I have about nine more minutes. I'm almost done. God blessed Abraham. But favor is for purpose. Somebody say purpose. God is not going to bless you so you can pull up in the parking lot. Right. Talk about look at my ride. Come on. Look at how I look. God doesn't care how you look on the outside. Oh no, like God looks on the inside. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Favor is for purpose. Mm -hmm. And I submit to you today that you will not be slow down, Doctor. Take your time. Come on. Slow down. I slow down. submit to you today yes. that you will not be sitting in here. 
If it wasn't for your grandmama, your great grandmama, somebody served you favor when you didn't deserve it. Now, I don't know about you, but I would not be a preacher today if I didn't have a mother who let me out. Yes. And made me go to church. Amen. I remember, uh, I told my mother, I'm not going to church. <laughs> she right. said, baby, get up mm. and go to church. Mm -hmm. I said, mama, I'm sleepy. Okay. I was in the nightclub. Oh. So like, throw, your hair, throw your hands in the air. Ah. Wave them like this. Ah. <laughs> in the old church, if your mother said,